Welcome back, my friends, to another Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2 video. I've heard the requests. You guys wanted a guide on how to complete the Create a Skater challenges, the Created Skater challenges, whatever. Uh, so I'm going to take you guys through a guide in this video. There are 24 challenges, and to do this, um, you need to do this in order to unlock uh, Officer Dick, which I've already made a guide on, but you guys wanted more of an in-depth guide on how to complete these challenges. So I'll take you guys through the challenges. Some of them, like these first two, I'm just going to explain. So the sick combos, basically, if you go to each map, each map has a sick score, right? Which you can pause the game and you can look at all the challenges, which you've most likely completed if you've completed the game but you can still redo them so basically what you got to do is you got to use your created skater and you got to get uh, those six scores so for example i think like warehouse is like a hundred thousand points uh so using your created skater you got to you know hit the, those uh combos in a session so uh to go to a session you're just going to go to the hub you're going to go to skate tours and then whatever game you know for example tony hawk pro skater one you go to warehouse you can see the six scores a hundred thousand so you click on warehouse and you start a run and you get a hundred thousand points with your created skater so you got to do that i think it was on five different challenges so for one of the challenges you have to land a combo greater than the six score so it has to be actually over over that so for warehouse is a hundred thousand you need at least a hundred thousand and one for example it has to be at least one point over whatever the six score is and you actually have to do it on every single classic goal parks so basically all the parks in tony Hawk pro skater one and two not including uh chopper drop and skate heaven those are disclosed those are not the classic uh, parks or, or whatever. So you got to do all of them. This one here is actually just for five parks. Uh, so when you get five parks, you'll complete that one. And then this one is for all the parks. So you do those. And then we have a bunch of gap combo uh, stuff. So I'm going to show you guys how to do those. Uh, but then we also have the gold medal stuff. So the gold medals basically earn a gold medal in every competition park. So there's certain levels, obviously, that are competitions where you have to earn a medal. You just use your created skater and you have to get a gold uh, medal on those levels. Again, same thing as what I just explained for the other challenge except this one is specifically for the gold medals uh, on all these parks this one is for specifically four competition parks this one is for all the competition parks and then again we have gold medals and stuff we have sick combo uh, so land a combo greater than the six score on any classic gold park so again this is just for one which again is going to tie into these first two up here uh, and then down so again we got more combos uh, gaps completed so we have to land any gap on all available classic parks so you just have to land one gap on every single park this one i'm not going to take you guys through because there's like a billion gaps on every single one i'm sure you've hit a gap at some point a gap is just basically when you when you uh all the over a gap right there's a space between two objects so like let's say there's a rail there's like a space between and then there's like another rail or a ledge you just grind and then you you know jump and you grind onto the next rail and that's normally a gap or if you see two ramps you know, next to each other with like a space between them there's that as well so and that one's very easy. I don't think you guys need a guide for that. Uh, so I'm just going to take you guys through all these other ones, all these combo landed ones, uh, because I think those are specifically the ones you guys have been struggling with. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Otherwise, let's start with our first one, how stimulating, which is to get a 45,000 point combo off Philly manual stimulation gap using at least two reverts. I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. All right, so for this one, you're going to load up, of course, the Philadelphia map uh, in uh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2. You're going to go to the left where I'm going. Of course, this video might be a little bit lengthy because I'm taking you guys through every little detail uh, of these challenges. You're going to grind up this telephone wire, which is going to knock them out uh, and open up this secret part. You're going to use this kicker to get over here. And the, the, the uh, what you call it, the gap is actually to manual cross these uh, humps here. So if you manual cross the humps, hold on, it didn't work there. Give me a second. Um, if you manual cross the humps... There it is. Uh, you'll have the manual stimulation. So I don't know. I don't know if there's, a, I guess, a sweet spot for it. I, I went over this hump and over this hump. So maybe that's a sweet spot. So basically, uh, you got to link it with two reverts and it has to be a total of 45,000. So you're going to do a trick on one of those ramps, do a revert, manual across. You got the manual, uh, you got the stimulation. You're going to go off of this ramp, do another revert. And whenever you have 45,000 score, you're going to land it. And that is pretty much the challenge. So we can move on to the next one. All right, next up is Gray was here. Land a 50,000 point combo off of Roswell Gray uh, grind gap using at least one manual and a lip trick. So you need one manual and one lip trick. It has to be 50,000 point combo and it has to be that specific grind gap. So of course we are in Roswell's map. This is the last map in Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1. We're actually gonna go up here. So we're gonna go in here uh, where the alien is and the grind gap is this right here So it's this ledge the next one and the next one. So you're gonna grind this you're gonna grind this you're gonna grind this and Straight to the end. There's gray grind gap and then you're gonna make your way over to uh, 
into um, the quarter pipes, hopefully linking your combo and not doing what I'm doing. Failing miserably. Okay, I am failing absolutely miserably. It doesn't matter where you go. As long as you do a lip trick in your combo, you land it. As long as it's 50,000 points, you're good to go. So, again, unfortunately, you got to you gotta hit up these ledges. It has to be from the top to the bottom, by the way. You cannot go from the bottom to the top. It has to go one, two, three, all those ledges straight across. And then, of course, you have to link a manual in there so you can uh, manual up to the quarter pipe and then try to get into a lip trick. Sometimes it'll make you grind, which is super annoying. Uh, but just try to get into that lip trick and you should be good to go. All right, so for this next one, we got to land a 40,000 point uh, combo off of burn sides over to pool gap using at least one grab trick. This one's called pool side burn. So we're going to be, of course, going to burn side. Uh, that level is in uh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1. So what we're going to do from the spawn is uh, we actually have to clear this pool, the pool with the eye in it. That's uh, we got to clear. So we're actually going to be launching off of this right here. So ideally you want a special uh, meter to be full so it gives you extra speed. Uh, and then you're going to launch off of here. And uh, hold on. You got to make sure you launch off of it from the right angle because if you don't, then you're not going to clear it properly. So you got to kind of go right here. Yeah, right there, and that is over the pool. And you have to have at least one uh, grab in the combo, so I'm just going to grab, and then boom, land it, and we're good to go. Unfortunately, that was actually only a 30,000-point combo, so of course, make sure you have a 40,000-point combo, uh, and you'll be uh, golden, and uh, everything will be good. So again, you can just go like that, boom, over the pool, do a couple tricks, make sure you have enough for 40,000, and uh, that's it. All right, this next one's going to be Beach Party. Land a 35,000 point combo off of uh, Venice Beaches all the way gap using at least one grind trick. So this gap is actually going to be a manual gap. Um, and you might want to turn your speed down, honestly, for this one. Uh, so if you go over here to where all the tables are, there's this set of tables that have a bunch of wood connecting them. Basically, you're going to want to manual across the entire thing. Uh, if you're not getting the gap, it's probably because you're not manualing across the entire thing. And that's also why I suggest turning your speed down. Uh, because otherwise you might not actually get it. So right here you can see I didn't actually I didn't and I didn't get it There's supposed to be two gaps there. One of them is called here. We go uh, or here he goes or I don't, I don't remember what it's called um, Anyway, so you got to make sure you start from the very 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 beginning See there you go now We have it all the way there it is and you got to link a grind in here So you got to get to like a rail or something make sure you have enough speed for a rail to get to a rail um, Obviously that was very very sketchy what I just pulled off there um, so, you know, maybe not have your, your speed stats maxed out, but, you know, high enough where you can, like, actually have enough momentum to get to a rail after the grind. Because, again, you have to have a grind in there, uh, but the gap itself is a manual gap. So, you know, do that and uh, make sure you have, what was it, 35,000 or whatever I said at the beginning of this clip. And uh, you should be good to go. All right, so next up, we have a Downtown Dirty. Land a 30,000-point combo off a of Downtown Dirty's uh, Dirty Rail gap using at least one lip trick. Now... I'm not going to lie to you. This one's going to be tough, okay? This one's going to be a little bit tough. So you're going to turn around at the very beginning. Uh, we're going to be going onto the roof. Because what we're going to do is we're going to be launching off a ramp that's on the roof. And we're going to be trying to uh, get onto a rail down below. Uh, again, you might want to turn your speed down for this one. Um, no promises that I'm going to actually nail this one. Uh, so we're going to go over here. And we're going to launch across over here to this roof. Uh, so you're going to be launching off this ramp. And if you look down there, right below me. See that rail? We're going to be landing on that rail, so you're going to, it's, it's tricky, man. It's honestly tricky. Uh, I'm going to actually get rid of my special just so I don't have as much speed. Because when you have special, you have more speed. Uh, so the idea is to land on the rail, and I just missed it. And then when you land on the rail, you need to link a lip trick. So you're going to go into a manual to get up to this uh, ramp here, and then you're going to go do a lip trick. That's not a lip trick. A lip trick would be that. That's a lip trick, like a stall. Um, not a grind on that uh, quarter pipe and that's basically what ideally you'd want to do Let me see if I can actually pull it off so I can show you guys what it you know looks like realistically Okay, well, I didn't get the lip trick in uh, on that unfortunately, but you've seen exactly what the gap looks like uh, it took me like 10 minutes just to nail that again. It, it's it's annoying. It's a, it's a really difficult uh, gap to nail. You got to hit the uh, kicker on the roof from, uh, you know, the perfect spot. But you get the gist of it. Um, so just do that and you should be good to go. Again, do what the challenge says and uh, you will have nailed this challenge. We can move on to the next one. All right, the next one is Mallway Space Land, a 25,000 point combo off of malls for the Atrium Gap using uh, at least one grab trick. Now, uh, this one is actually going to be at the very, very end of the mall level, so I'm going to just skip ahead there. Uh, it's not at the very, very end, but it's close to the end, so we're going we're gonna to skip ahead over there real quick. 
Um, because, I mean, you can't miss it. You'll see. I'll just speed up. Okay, so basically it's the food court. Once you get to the food court, what you're going to be grinding is you're going to be grinding this thing right here. You're going to be grinding this ledge all the way around. And you'll see for the whole atrium just popped up. Now, uh, it did say you have to include a grab trick, if I remember right. Uh, I already forgot what the challenge said, but you know, you know what it says. Uh, so, you know, you can go like this. You can grind the whole thing. You know, do a couple of grind variations. And then at the end, do a grab trick, land it, and you should be good to go. It's, uh, I think, only 25,000 you need, so it's not too difficult to get that one. And we can move on to the next one. All right, so for this one, up on the roof, land a 20,000-point combo off of School 2's drop out roof gap using at least one grind trick, okay? So, School 2 is in Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2. We're gonna go off this kicker at the very beginning. We're gonna go up here, and uh, the actual gap is just jumping through this window. So, we're gonna jump through the window. You can see dropout roof gap is done. You can actually grind this rail. Uh, I missed the rail. If you did miss the rail, just try to manual to another rail, um, if you can. Uh, ideally, that'd be the rail that you'd wanna hit. Um, but let's see if I can pull it off. There you go. I pulled it off. I got onto that roof. I grinded it and that's pretty much it uh, But again, there is that rail the whole point of that rail is you know to be there for that uh, challenge um, or Sorry, that's not the point of the rail the rail is there in, in, in the first original Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 and this challenge didn't exist um, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Okay, these challenges are crazy But anyways get the challenge done and we can move on all right, so high flyer, land a 15,000 point combo off of hangers, flying high a gap. We're gonna be, of course, going to hangar uh, in Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2. There's a propeller here to the right. Go ahead and grind it. That's gonna open up a secret area. <clears throat> Excuse me. And you're gonna want to gap uh, across this open door. So you have to go from the white part of the ramp to the white part of the ramp on the other side. You cannot hit the brown wood kind of part of the ramp, or else it's not gonna count. The best way to do that, this is make sure you have uh, max stats, make sure you have a special filled, and you're gonna boneless off the ramp at the right angle. It's kind of difficult, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's not the easiest. Uh, as you guys seen there, I started off, uh, I, I kinda like nicked the brown part when I launched off of this ramp, so it didn't count. Um, to get the 15,000, just do like a, a grab variation with maybe like a flip trick and then a revert at the end. And boom, you're good to go. 15,000. So it is a little bit tricky. Just keep trying it and you should get it. Again, boneless out of the uh, out of the uh, ramp. And make sure you have a full special and full stats if possible. So next up we have Grindy Grabby, which is land a 30,000 point combo with a grab trick, a grind trick, and no manuals or reverts. You cannot manual, you cannot revert. That is going to make this a little bit more difficult. So only grabs and only grinds. 30,000 points. You can do this anywhere. It doesn't matter which level. So since we're on hangar anyways, we're going to do hangar. Um, so for example, one way you could do this is you can start with a grab. If you push the right trigger, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, after, it's going to basically even you out so you can land on the coping of the ramp. So the best way to do this, you go up, you can do a special maybe, right? And then hold the right trigger to even yourself out, land on the coping, grind it, do a bunch of grind variations, flip the trick out, and you know, that's pretty much it. It's not too difficult. Again, just do a grab trick, hold the right trigger, land on the coping. Um, you know, do some grinds, you can flip trick out, whatever. The only thing you cannot do is manuals, you cannot do reverts. So as long as you're not doing either of those, you should be good to go. Uh, there's a couple different ways you can do this. Obviously, I can launch off of this, do a grab, land into a grind here, wall plant, flip trick out. I mean, there's that uh, variation as well. Obviously, that wasn't uh, quite 30,000. I could do a grind, I could do a wall plant, I could do a grab into another grind. Uh, you know, you don't even have to launch off the ramp. There's a couple different ways to do this. So, uh, you know, whatever works best for you, uh, whatever level you think works best for you. Um, again, I mean, I could probably almost, I can almost get 30,000 just off of grabs alone. So if you do use a special and maybe like throw in a flip trick, yeah, right there, I, I didn't even have to grind. I didn't have to revert nothing. I got 54,000. Uh, if you have full stats, obviously it helps. So that's a little trick on how to get that one done. All right, so this next one you can do anywhere as well. It's called Be Special. Land at 25 plus move combo with no grind tricks and at least one special. So we cannot grind. To check your specials, you go to the skater tab under the pause menu. Oops, not there. Uh, and under here, you can see special tricks. You can equip different ones, whatever they are. Just again, they can't be grinds, obviously. So grind specials included, you can't use those. So grab specials, flip trick specials, manual specials, whatever, whatever you're uh, uh, comfortable with. Um, and then if you don't know how specials work, basically you got to do like a little combo or something to fill your special. 
special meter up the top right corner then you can do a special uh, as far as knowing how many tricks you're at if you look at the bottom middle you can see there's a multiplier right now it says times four that means how many tricks I've done um, so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna do a special no guarantees I'm gonna land this I'm gonna do a revert again we cannot do grinds unfortunately so you know you just gotta you gotta get this the old-fashioned way so again just doing you know Gra uh, flatland tricks, uh, flip tricks. It's 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 tricky. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It's it's it can be very tricky, especially when your reverts don't work. I don't know why the reverts are so finicky in this game. Uh, kind of wish they would fix that, but uh, you know it is what it is. So again, you go up another ramp if you have the time. Do a bunch of flatland tricks. Um, I'm gonna do my best here. 25 we need, right? We're almost there. Remember, you can do wall plants, too. So, there's 25, and that was it. So, again, it's a little tricky. You got to make sure your manual stats are as high as they can be. Um, otherwise, you know, you might struggle because you got to do a lot of manualing since you can't grind. Um, but that's how you get that one done. All right, so this next one could be done anywhere as well. It's called Lips and Stuff. Land a 10,000 point combo with only a non-special lip trick. So it cannot be a special lip trick and a revert. So you literally can only do two tricks in this. Now, of course... The way you're going to get 10,000, since you get a multiplier of 2, is you need 5,000 points on your lip tricks. So you're going to have to hold the lip trick for a long time. Um, long enough. So, ideally, you're going to go to your skater tab. You're going to try to put the uh, lip balance up to max. If you have to take other stats down because you don't have enough stat points, then by all means, if you need to know where all the stat points are, I've done 100% guides. There's going to be a playlist down below. And then, ideally, what you're going to do is you're going to go up. You're going to do a lip. You're going to hold it for as long as you can. And keep in mind, you can't do mods. You're going to wait till it says... Uh, 5,000 points, which is very hard to look at while you're trying to focus on the balancing meter as well. So I'm going to try my best to show you guys. Just try to keep it centered. It, it's not it's not easy. And then end it with a revert and boom, 10,000. Okay? It's not easy. It's not easy, but you'll get it. Just stick with it and you'll get it. All right, three moves down. Land an only three move combo worth 20,000 points with no specials. Game mods, of course, must be disabled. Again, you can do this anywhere. Now, this one could be a little bit tricky because you can't do any uh, anything that has uh, mods on it, right? Or, or sorry, specials. Um, so what I like to do is I like to do um, a, a special kind of you know grab. Maybe uh, I bonus out of the ramp for that extra multiplier, and then of course a revert out. You could do whatever three tricks you want, but this is the best way that I have. So what I would do is I'd go like this. Let's say, and that's not quite it. So that was actually only two. That was a bonus out of the wrong way. Uh, what was it again? 20,000 points, right? So I'm going to bonus out. I'm going to do like a Christ there. Revert out. And there you go. 20,000 20, points. Again, it's easier to do if you have full stats. You can do more rotations, get higher air. Uh, but I think Christ airs are probably like, you know, one of the best ways to uh, get, you know, those points. Um, again, no specials allowed. Uh, if you're wondering how to do Christ air, it's uh, down right. And then, you know, you double tap circle or B, whatever, you know, your controller is. So, um, you know, give it a go. Whatever tricks you're comfortable with, whatever you think can get you enough points. Um, you know, typically double double grab tricks. So, like, when you do a grab and you press circle, circle is probably your best option. Um, so, like, you know, judo uh, with a revert at the end. But, of course, bonusing out is ideal. So, you, you have that, you know, the three multiplier. Um, so, you know, bonus out of the vert. Do your grab. Revert out. And you should have the 20,000. Another one that could be done anywhere. Salt Flats. Land a 15 plus move combo using only non-special flip tricks and flatlands. Again, no specials. Only flip tricks. Only flatlands, meaning manuals and flatlands. Okay? Like I said before, you can see how many tricks you are uh, you have done by looking at the multiplier. So the multiplier says, you know, four right now. That means I've done four tricks. So again, you just got to link a bunch of manuals with a bunch of, you know, flat ground tricks. And uh, eventually... You'll have 15. If you don't know how to do flatland tricks, when you're manually you press like circle, circle, or square, square, or triangle, circle, or circle, triangle, or any combination of you know square, triangle, and circle, and combine in pairs of two uh, while you're manualing. So again, you just do a bunch of those, and that adds to your multiplier and your your trick count. And then you know you throw in like some flip tricks here and there with it, you know, so you can like take a break from manualing here and there. And then you know eventually, boom, you have the 15. So hopefully that helps you out. All right, half pipe dream land a 20,000 point combo with both. Both a grab and a lip trick and no specials of course all of these things game mods have to be disabled so um, you have to at least include a grab trick and a lip trick it doesn't say you can't do anything else except no specials so you can do grinds you can do manuals you can do flip tricks as long as it includes a grab and a lip which is why it's called half pipe dream meaning you know obviously it'd be best in a half pipe 
Um, so you could do anything really you could do a grab and then go into a lip trick and then you know revert out or whatever And it's it's very simple again, you know do a grab with a spin Revert so you can get to another another, you know quarter pipe or half pipe or whatever and do a lip trick uh, Or you can start I mean, I guess you could start with a lip trick But it's kind of harder to revert from a lip trick obviously it's possible but then you have kind of less momentum uh, as well um, but as long as you don't do any specials, you should be good to go. And it's honestly not too difficult to do this one. Um, you know, it's more difficult trying to link from like one quarter pipe to the next. Because obviously sometimes it puts you in a grind instead of a lip trick, uh, which is a little bit annoying. So you have to go, you know, directly head on up the ramp to hit that lip trick. So, uh, I don't know. Just give it your best go and make sure that uh, you're not using any specials. And you're, you know, including both a grab and a lip trick and whatever else you can link up in between doesn't really matter five and away land a five plus move combo with at least one revert using no grinds no specials no flat lands so basically you have to do everything up in the air off of a quarter pipe and then end it with a revert uh i guess you have a little bit of time after the revert to add another flip trick but here let me show you a couple variations so if we do a revert you have literally a little bit of uh time after you do the revert to ollie up and do um like another flip trick so you can do that so as long as you can go up here maybe do like two or three flip tricks um oh, hold on you can't manual i keep forgetting you can't manual so you can do a grab a flip trick a revert another flip trick that's only four so ideally i would just do like three flip tricks revert um and you should be hold on wait yeah three flip tricks revert and then if you need to you can do another flip trick uh before the combo breaks uh, out of your revert or you can do a boneless out of the vert and then three flip tricks and a revert and that's five as well because there's no score you need all you need is five uh tricks in this combo you can't do flat land so it has to be off one so if you bone this out you do three flip tricks and a revert you should be good to, uh, good to go so again like that boom or the other way is if you don't want to bonus out, you can just go up, do like three flip tricks, revert, and then do another quick flip trick before your combo breaks. So, uh, again, you're going to probably want full stats, like full air and full speed, so you can get as much, you know, air as you can. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Let me know if you have any questions on that one, but it's it's not too difficult if you have full stats. 8 Channel TV land a 40,000 point combo using only 8 non-special tricks. That's pretty much it. You have to have only 8. You cannot have 9 or 10 uh, I guess you could have seven if you have 40,000 uh, score within seven tricks. That's fine But you can have a maximum of eight tricks and it cannot include specials This one's not too too difficult if you can you know do it right so like I can get it just off of like um, Probably five tricks I could boneless out I could do like a Christ air with a revert maybe like a flip trick and I almost have it so um, It's not too difficult. Just you know do uh, maybe like go out of a quarter pipe do a, a grab, maybe flip trick right after the grab, you know, manual, um, you know, whatever. That's seven, and that's 37,000. So maybe maybe don't do any flat ground tricks because they're not worth enough. Um, so I'm at six. We can manual here. We can do another grab, end it with a revert, and that's 39,000. So, I mean, just play with it. Um, you know, any variation of tricks, honestly, you should be able to get it eventually um, as long as it doesn't include specials. I like to do, like, a lot of Christ airs because they're worth a lot. So that's boom 78,000 off of seven tricks. So if you do it right, maybe throw in a gap in there because I don't think gaps add Oh, yeah, it does never mind Ga gaps do add so keep in mind gaps do add to your multiplier um, That was a stupid thing for me to say that it didn't um, but I don't know just do a um, You know like a, a 540 grab trick like this and revert out and do I don't know some things like this and maybe you can grind and do that and I don't know You should be able to get it pretty easy within eight tricks You just got to find the eight tricks that you know, you're most comfortable with they give you the most points All right, re revert land a 15,000 point combo with at least two reverts a grab trick no grinds no specials So that's actually pretty easy. All you got to do is find a half pipe So we're on the hanger here still because you can do this anywhere uh, we've been on the hangar for a while, which is one of my favorite maps. There's a half pipe right here So you can go off of this half pipe do a grab trick do a revert do into a manual and then go off the other one Do a second revert and you're pretty much good to go. I mean, it's it's very very simple. It's not too difficult um, Again, just grab trick revert into a manual to get over to the other side of the half pipe which that revert didn't work right there 
and then you know go up there do another revert and you know boom it's very very simple that one i think that one's probably one of the easiest ones to do so yeah there you guys have it well my friends there you guys have it that is all the created skater uh challenges for you guys i mean of course like i said the other ones are very self-explanatory you just get you know um over a six score on every single level which you can you know that's i mean again self-explanatory uh if you need help knowing how to you know do big combos stuff like that i have a couple guides on my channel i'll link the play playlist down below uh including 100 percent guides on every single level and things like that so if you guys want to know how to you know complete all the objectives get all the stats all that good stuff you can do that as well um but again if you have any questions leave them down in the comments below i hope this video helped you guys out there was you know um a few of you guys that were asking for this kind of video because you were having trouble completing the created skater challenges so i hope this did help you guys out if it did be sure to leave it a like share it with your friends subscribe guys new and all the good stuff um like i said before we do a variety of gaming content on the channel but i do love me some tony hawk pro skater i grew up with it and i'm really glad that it's back and i hope that they remaster the other games as well especially underground one underground two and uh american wasteland because those three were like the best of the best so i i hope those come back too but anyways hope you guys are enjoying tony hawk pro skater one and two let me know what you guys think in the comments below stay safe stay well and until the next one, my friends game on and thanks for watching